Hello everyone, so I am so excited for today's video. Since I've started my channel, I've wanted to branch out more and try different brands, which is something that I never really tended to do. Just kind of stuck to what I was used to, but I have recently bought quite a lot of stuff from brands I've never tried before, and I've, I don't think, I haven't really found anything I've completely disliked. I haven't found any brands I've completely disliked. But if you live in the UK, you might know that recently Kat Von D come to Debenhams. It is currently online only, whether or not they'll bring it into stores, I don't know. I really hope that they do, because it would be nice to be able to go in the shop and just kind of see the products, because buying stuff online can sometimes be pretty difficult. As soon as I found out, I knew I wanted to try at least something from the brand, because I've heard so many people talk about like, the liquid lipsticks, the shade and light palette, the eyeshadow palettes, and just the packaging as well just looks so cool and different. So I decided to pick up two liquid lipsticks. I just, I knew that this would be something that I would have to try as soon as possible. So I got, like I said, I got two colors. The first color I got is bow and arrow. I knew I wanted this color, definitely, hands down, I knew I wanted this color. And then I was, Debating on getting Lolita 1 versus Lolita 2 after looking at like swatches and stuff online Which again was really difficult because they look so different on so many different people I decided to go for number two because I don't feel like I've got anything like this liquid lipstick wise So I've taken them out of the box and had a look but I haven't swatched them or anything like that so I wanted to do it first of all all on camera. So this is the box. I love the kind of like tattoo style box obviously if you know Kat Von D as you know that she is like a tattoo artist and she's very heavily tattooed herself and I just love like the style writing on the box and everything like that. This is what the packaging looks like it's a very long kind of thin style packaging which I do really like and then you've got like roses in like a silver around the lid and then you've got like a black pattern and again I just really like it I just I think it looks pretty I like pretty packaging and then it has the color on the bottom this one is bow and arrow and I will just take out Lolita number two so that you can see them side by side so this is Lolita number two I kind of had in mind what I thought they would look like but when I actually got them they they didn't look exactly how I thought they were gonna look which isn't a bad thing I think they're absolutely gorgeous colors but they just didn't look how I expected them to look at all which is why I really hope that they bring it into a shop so that you can actually go in and have a look so I'll swatch the bow and arrow one first so it has just a normal kind of doe for applicator it doesn't look like it's got a particular like different kind of shape as to what you know like lip glosses and things like that would normally have it it doesn't really have much of a smell at all but what I'll do is I'll swatch it on it, whoa it's oh it's really like it's a soft kind of applicator when I swatched it on my wrist I, sometimes these kind of applicators can feel quite stiff so that is bow and arrow it's a lot it looks a lot darker when I swatched it than what I thought it was going to come out like so it's like a kind of warm toned nude. I wanted to compare it to Jeffree Star's Celebrity Skin and Dose of Colours Truffle because I feel like they're going to be quite similar. So I'll swatch Celebrity Skin first. So you've got the Kat Von D one here and then you've got the Jeffree Star one here. I would say that they're pretty spot on for being the exact same colour. And then Dose of Colours Truffle, I'll swatch it on the other side. So then you've got the Dose of Colours truffle there, which I think is just a slight bit more kind of pink toned, whereas these two are a little bit more kind of orangey brown. So that is them, and then I'm going to swatch Lolita number two. Again, doesn't really have a smell, I'll swatch it a little bit further up. The texture of it when I swatch it, it feels so like kind of soft, and it swatches really nicely. So this is, this is Lolita number two, which is right here. And the only colour that I think I've got which might be similar is the MAC Persistence colour. It has that kind of like ready undertone to it, but I don't think they look as similar. As you can see, Lolita number no. 2 does have quite a lot of red to it. So I don't want to apply it with a lip liner just because I want it to be as true to colour as possible. So I'm going to start off with a bow and arrow. And I just want to put a very kind of thin layer of it on just to see what the pigment's like. So 
so that is what bow and arrow looks like i love it i really like it and i when i first got this i did wonder if it was going to be a bit more difficult to apply because it has a longer like wand and sometimes that can make for me it can make things a little bit more difficult but that just went on so easy i didn't feel like i had to kind of like really get in there and fix any areas like i normally would and it's it's a bit tacky but i don't know if that's because it's still drying down so i do want to give it a couple of minutes or so to dry but i really like the color and it is a very thin layer and it doesn't feel like my lips are really tight or anything like that i'm expecting it to feel a little bit dry just because i think with like all liquid lipsticks that's the same thing you know kind of first impressions i do really like it it's just a really nice kind of everyday nude i don't feel like i would really need a lip liner for that maybe just to kind of help define my lower lip but apart from that so it still feels pretty tacky and i think it's pretty much dried down so but it doesn't transfer at all onto my hand which is obviously a good thing yeah i really like it i'm really really happy with that this is something that i would you know i'd go out wearing with a kind of natural makeup or i'd go out if i was going out on you know, like a night out or something, I'd I'd happily wear it with a little bit more dramatic makeup. I think it's just an all-round good kind of colour to have, and I feel like this would suit so many different people. I really, really do like it. So I'm going to take this off, and then I'm going to try on Lolita number two. It was a little bit difficult to remove, but, you know, with a lot of matte liquid lipsticks, they can be a little bit difficult. So I'm now going to try on Lolita number two. <laughs> Okay, so that is Lolita number two, and it's definitely not a colour that I would kind of see myself going for without trying it on first, because it's kind of like, it's it's a lot peachier than what I thought it was going to be. But the thing that I think is really nice about this is if you're used to wearing just kind of like nudes and you want to try out a little bit more bolder ones, then this is a nice next step to do that, because it's not... It's a bit different, but it's not like in your face. And I do think it's really nice. I think that I probably wouldn't want to wear it with this eye look because I've got some green and I don't think it kind of meshes well together. I'd, I think it looked really nice with quite a warm, smoky eye. But I do actually really like the colour and I think it's nice to have something a little bit a little bit different. I definitely still want to get Lolita number one as well, I think. I think that one's a little bit more of like a mauve purple kind of colour but I think that again this would be something that would suit a lot of people and you could always kind of pop on I mean you could probably even pop a little bit of this on the top just to kind of nude it out a little bit if it was a little bit too much or you could apply like a different coloured lip liner underneath to change the colour slightly if it's not your kind of thing because it is like I said it's that kind of in between of being like nude and bold because it's not you know really 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 bold. So I've just popped bow and arrow back on because I want to wear this for the rest of the day. This video will be going up tonight so what I'll do is I'll write in the description box like how it's worn throughout the day and things like that and I'll take it out with me in case I need to touch it up so I can, so I can also let you know how that gets on. But first impressions, I think they're really nice. They were, I only paid £16 each for them as well which I don't think is too bad of a price. I was, when I first found out that it was in Debenhams, I did think the prices were going to be a little bit more than that. I was kind of expected to pay around £20 for these. So I don't think that that is too bad. And like I said, they're really comfortable. I definitely recommend trying them out. This Bow and Arrow colour is gorgeous. And I think that anybody should have this colour. And if you want to try and transition into more like deeper colours, I think this is a really nice kind of all year round nice colour. Because it looked nice in the summer because it's a bit peachy. I think it looked nice in the autumn because it's quite like a warm tone colour. I will let you know how I get on with these, but I am really impressed. If I do like them, I do want to pick up more. I also really want to try some other things as well. So if you've got any recommendations of things that you love from the brand, then please let me know in the comments down below. I do think I want to pick up the shade and light palette because I just feel like that's something that like everybody talks about. So. so I really hope you enjoyed this video and it's been helpful if you've been wondering whether or not these are worth the money. Uh, if you did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed then please do that as well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!